dignitaries from Japan are here. In fact, uh, our artists were overwhelmed this evening because we had a media interaction, media meet with them uh, at 4.30 this evening. And the media was so enthralled that, friends, the media was so enthralled that uh, almost until 6.20, they were in the, you can say, gerao of the media, Ahmedabad media. We had the televisions, uh, um, uh, newspapers, uh, uh, weeklies. It was all like a great experience for them. So, Bada Marisa Tekeshe, Kombawa. And what does that mean? Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Kombawa. Good evening. Ahmedabad must start learning Japanese. The reason is, as I was telling a few of my friends earlier this evening, five years ago, if any one of you had asked me, Mukesh Bhai, give us the names of five Japanese living here in Ahmedabad, it was if I have to say so, muzukashi, <laughs> difficult. Because the number of Japanese settled in Ahmedabad was very small. Today, five years later, Hironori-san is here, you will testify, what is the number of Japanese living in Ahmedabad around? How many? Fifty, five, zero. <laughs> and my dear friend, Mr. Hironori, Hironori-san as we call him, Ishizaki Hironori, he is a certified public accountant, what we call as a chartered accountant. We have Japanese attorneys here. So you can imagine when would Japanese accountants and Japanese lawyers set up in Ahmedabad? Only if they have enough clientage, right? So you can imagine the number of Japanese companies that are setting up their roots of business here in Ahmedabad and Gujarat. This is all thanks to the enormous response that Gujarat has been getting and in fact consecutively in the last three vibrant Gujarat summits of 2009, 2011 and 2013, our dear Chief Minister and now Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi was in a position to inspire and motivate Japan to be a country partner Japan became a, a country partner with Gujarat for purposes of business. And ever since then, more particularly since 2013, <laughs> friends, we have a red carpet rolled out. We have a red carpet rolled out for our Japanese business community. But let me also tell you, friends, that the relations between Gujarat and Japan they have been on what I call as all the three fronts, A, B, C. You'll ask me what it is. A is academic, B is business, and C is cultural. Friends, we've had a long relationship on the academic front between the Gujarat University and the Otemon Dakwin University in Osaka, Ibaraki City there in Japan. Almost 40 years have passed by. Malti Ben Mehta is here. In fact, uh, with great humility, I would say I myself got into the Indo-Japanese friendship thanks to the opportunity I had more than 40 years ago. In fact, it's close to 42 years 
that I went as a young student to Japan. So we've had a long journey on the academic front, now on business, you name. We have the two big Hitachis here. We have a number of companies, you know, big Sumitomo is here. Uh, and today I'm also, I'm going to, at the end of the program, uh, recognize the presence of several important Japanese dignitaries and my dear friend Hironori-san will help me in introducing them to this August audience. But friends, this moment, I think, are we ready? You know, it's something like this. Until they are ready, I have to pass time. <laughs> but they are ready now. Uh, that's what I'm told. So, ladies and gentlemen, may I amidst a very big round of applause from all of you. First of all, ask Mr. Hironori to bring our distinguished guest this evening, the internationally acclaimed Japanese pianist Toshiki Usui. And may I request may I request one of our very eminent uh, dignitaries from the Japanese side, uh, Mr. Shoji Subakuta, the chairman, the managing director of Hitachi Home and Life India Limited, to please come and welcome him with a bouquet of flowers. We are honored. Subhakata san, I want you to stay here for a moment as I would like to mention, friends, Subhakata san is playing his second innings here. I'm sure you are enjoying being here much more now with so many Japanese friends around because I recall when I joined the board of Hitachi that was in 2004 when you were here for your brief stint that was the time when this one two three four five also were difficult right <laughs> would you like to say a few words uh, thank you very much today coming to this uh, the concert as he introduced this is Second time to work in Ahmedabad. First time was 2001 to 2003. At that time, Hitachi established the company in the Kadi. And uh, I went back to Japan and visited Ch China, then come back again to see you. Thank you very much today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sobokuta san. And uh, friends, the, I also want to introduce uh, about whom I mentioned to you, Mr. Hironori Ishizaki-san. He is based here in Ahmedabad. And if any one of you wants to learn Japanese accounting, you know, Japanese uh, language is so complicated, I don't know how complicated accounting is going to be. <laughs> anyway, as far as numbers are concerned, I think you use the universal language, right? I, I've been to Japan every time, it's easy to read the numbers, one, two, three, four. <laughs> it's because you use the English. Huh? It's only the Japanese characters. But then, we are very privileged to even have a Japanese language teacher. And may I request her if she's here from the Japan International Cooperation Agency. Please, Dozo, come here, come here. <laughs> Friends, uh, I, I want you to be here. Those are, those are, those are, come here. Oh my God, she's so modest. She's a young lady uh, who is so simple, so modest. She has been sent, just imagine the importance, even the Japan International Cooperation Agency, which is known as JICA, has given uh, Nirmambai to Ahmedabad and Gujarat. We have been lucky here at AMA and our Indo-Japanese center to be given for a period of one year a native Japanese language teacher. And she is with us here at AMA. She is running very popular 
Japanese language classes. So any one of you is interested in learning Japanese, feel free. You will have that great assistance. So, uh, and may I now welcome the two artists who are going to be performing the great show which is known as the Japanese the samurai performers used to do the swords and we have Kawachi-san and Tanaka-san from the studio Shikumi Tokyo and I would request uh, I would request uh, the editor of Gujarat Samachar Sri Nirmam Shah to please come and present flowers to both of them. Uh, please come upstairs here. Come. Come. <laughs> Nirmam Bhai, thank you for being. Would you like to say a word or two? It's a wonderful thing that we are having over here of uh, Japanese uh, culture over here and also a piano concert which is quite unique and I wish the cultural center good luck. Thank you so much. Uh, friends, we have been very lucky. You will see the media today evening and tomorrow, uh, you know, very prominently covering this great uh, evening's performance of uh, our artists. And friends, I would uh, request the treasurer of the Ahmedabad Management Association, Mr. Diviesh Radia, to please come and present flowers to our dear friend who has been instrumental in getting these artists, uh, Hironori Ishizaki-san. Thank you, Divesh Bhai. <laughs> Uh, friends, I understand there are a large number of art, uh, people who are standing outside. We will allow you to please come. And will you please come up to here? Ahi Sudhi jo avi jau bada, to bada avi shaksho. Enu karan e che, ke emne a auditorium, joya pachi etlu gamyu, eke che ke muhun jo mic vagar perform karo, to the entire experience that you will have in reverberation will be something exquisite. So normally at our programs we allow people to sit in the other halls also but if all of you would like to come here I think we have space and we will be able to accommodate all of you. So you can sit here, there and even in the staircase. Don't worry. We'll give them two minutes just to settle down. Because you don't want microphones, I'm having everybody inside. Yeah, thank you, very much. You, you, you would like yeah. that, right? Okay, great. Huh? So. Why don't you come here? Yeah. Please come here. Uh, why don't you come here, all of you, with your flowers, of course, <laughs> right? Thank you. Thank you very much. So, friends, are we all set? Those who are waiting outside and Abaju under Awad because you will please appreciate we are not going to have microphones for the piano performance because he believes you will enjoy it more without the mic system. Okay, so we are all set. Uh, let us start with the studio Shikumi performing the Japanese katana or the sword demonstration first. It is a 10 minutes performance, after which we will have uh, our grandmaster perform for this evening. 
And uh, in the end, Hironori san, you will please do us the honor of introducing the Japanese community friends who have come here so that Ahmedabad can greet them this evening as well. Friends, a big round of applause and let us have them. Thank you. Konbanwa. A very warm welcome to all of you present today. Thank you for coming. We are very glad to introduce one of our great uh, Japanese culture, Japanese sword. Uh, we are Studio Shukumi from Japan, and we are here to showcase uh, the Japanese sword. In Japan, the Japanese sword Japanese sword is not only used as a weapon, but also appreciated as great artwork as well. With its, with its beautiful shape and variety of craft techniques. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, all right, thank you. So please allow me to showcase this unique piece of art. Let's start with a short three minutes video, which will give you the visual understanding of the Japanese sword. Okay, now um, 
we will introduce you how to appreciate Japanese sword as an artwork. The first step is unsealing the sword. The most important thing to remember when unsealing the sword is that the cutting edge of the braid must always face up. And then, tap rightly with the head of the peg remover to loosen the peg in the middle of the hilt. To remove the hilt, hold the hilt with your left hand and hit your left wrist with your right fist. The curvature of the sword differs depend depending upon its age and it is an important aspect of sword appreciation. Extend the arm holding the sword out in front of you. With the sword pointing straight up and examine the shape of the braid. Next step, remove the oil that is on the braid, which prevents the sword from getting rusted. Then use Uchiko and apply Uchiko powder. Light, uh, Apply Uchiko powder lightly by tapping it on the braid. So that sword will, find, uh, will shine. The shape of the braid tells you the age of the sword is made. The main part of the sword tells you the place the sword is made. And the hamon, a wave pattern on the sword, tells you who made it. The name of the swordsmith and the date of production are carved upon the tongue. Looking at it is perhaps a simple way for you to enter a time strip and travel back a few hundred years, which most people find very exciting. Depending upon the ability one's holding it, a sword can be used in many ways. If someone with a weak heart wields it, it becomes an evil weapon that wounds innocent people. But on the contrary, it can also serve to protect a good person 
from the evil intent of a wicked man. Today we don't use Japanese word. It is correct to say that Japanese word no longer serve a function in our daily lives. And yet, if you see a Japanese sword even once, the figure of the sword, the figure of the sword smith who forged it and poured into it all its power also become visible. Therefore, whenever you have the opportunity to look at a Japanese sword, please gaze, at, gaze upon it with these things in mind. If you do, then you too will perhaps be more deeply fascinated by the Japanese world, not merely as an instrument to be used, but also as a work of great beauty. After the piano concert, the, we will put the Japanese over here. So we appreciate if you like the performance and see, see the sword later. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for the sword, appreciating the sword performance. And friends, uh, it is time now to hold your hearts as we welcome, amidst a big round of applause, the internationally celebrated pianist, <laughs> Mr. Toshimi Usui. Toshiki san. Dozo, dozo. Hironori san, you want to say something right now? Maybe later. Okay, fine. Dozo. You can come and sit here. Okay, now we are. Uh, first, I play in the Beethoven in the Moonlight Sonata in the first movement. Next, in the Mozart in the Austrian composer in the Turkey March. And after, in the Polish composer in the Chopin and uh, two small pieces. Please enjoy it.
Once again, good evening, everyone. Are you enjoying the concert? Yes. Thank you very much. 
Uh, uh, as already previously introduced by Mr. Mukesh Patel, uh, my name is Hironori Shizaki, a uh, charter accountant working at an uh, Indian accounting firm here. And uh, I'm located here, uh, looking after West India, Ahmedabad, and Mumbai. And today, it's uh, indeed my pleasure to have you and host such kind of, uh, such a own and wonderful uh, cultural evening. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for coming, for respected guests, for all you. Um, every time, almost every time, he requests me to come up on the stage during the intermission and uh, let us talk uh, something, uh, I don't know. So this uh, session, there's no agenda, so I'm uh, talking about uh, what? What? <laughs> what <to say? laughs> uh, next song is a uh, Japanese famous in the composer, the Ryuichi Sakamoto. Uh, this is uh, one of the, the Japanese uh, very famous composer in the United States. Uh, but uh, he, normally uh, he composed in the, some pop or uh, in the very light music, but only he has in the one classical pieces. So that piece is uh, express uh, Japanese nature and uh, Japanese culture. But this piece take in 36 minutes in this one piece. Also, the very calm sound, yeah, some, like in the Indian yoga, I think. What is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, he's not kidding. I think next, next composition will take uh, 35 or around 35 minutes. And uh, as he already briefly uh, explained the next song, uh, the next song name, the, next, the name of the next composition is uh, Bridge. Uh, this is mainly for the, um, his uh, composer's friend's party collection. So this is a song for the mainly for the fashion show, but as he already mentioned, this is inspired so much by the Japanese profound nature or culture and history. Uh, just let me briefly uh, explain more in detail about this uh, composition. I think uh, Japan and India have uh, some similar essences regarding a culture. One of these are uh, circulation, the concept of circulation, I think. What does this mean? I think we believe, our Japanese believe, after death, the life does not stop. Life exists. Rebirth, how, how to say? It uh, depends on the, someone, uh, the person. But after this, life starts. And it should be continuous. It's moving on continuously. So life should be circulated, kind of things. So these songs express something like a circulation of life. And our Japanese have a very a profound concept of a kind of things. And I believe your country, your nation, India has very similar concept, I believe. So I think today uh, it's very interesting for Japanese professional pianists worldwide acclaimed uh, is playing such kind of compositions, e expressing the similar, more to say, same, our profound concept between Japan and India. So I hope that everyone would enjoy. Yeah. So, okay, I understand I'm talking so much, so you cannot be patient anymore for the next composition. Uh, finally, just let me request you uh, one thing. I think next composition is a very sensitive one, very narrow, very slow. So he should concentrate more than previously. So please uh, let me request not to make any noise. Turn off the uh, phones again, please confirm once again. And uh, please uh, do not, uh, I cannot force you, but please do not uh, refrain from taking the photo many times. Right. Thank you so much. Please enjoy.
One more big round of applause. Will you please take your seats? And uh, what would you like to say to this great audience this evening? Thank you very much. This piece is the. Uh, please, please, please. Yes. It's very, depends on the audience. Today is a very excellent audience. I, I pray it's a very, it's a good to, in the experience. Thank you very much. And friends, I want to just share something. You know, the fingers as they were going and the melodies as we were hearing, you, you might be amazed. You know, he was asked by the media today and uh, Everybody was fascinated to know that only last year, in 2013, in the Ginza Concert Hall in Tokyo, Usui-san presented a fusion of his piano music with a very eminent sitarist. So we had a sitar and piano, beautifully blending. And uh, he carries in his heart the warmth very special for India and the Indian music, in spite of the fact that, you know, originally he's learnt from Europe, the, Vienna, and he's travelled all over the globe, won how many international awards until this day? Now in the 55? 55! <laughs> and Ask him his age, can anybody guess? Sanju Nana. In Japanese, 37, friends. A 37 year old young pianist has won one and a half times the awards than his age. And we wish you all the best, many more awards. Thank you. Very much. you huh? And why don't you, as they say, Play at last two minutes, but a salute to the audience. Yeah. Right? Please. Okay. Right? Please. <laughs> Once more, a big, big cheers. A big cheers for him. Thank you. And uh, we'll just take two minutes more as I would request Hironori san to please introduce some of the members of the Japanese community and please welcome them. We want more and more Japanese to be with us. 
Yeah, thank you very much for uh, coming again. And uh, I would like to introduce the Japanese community. But uh, it's very tough uh, for me to decide some small numbers. So I would like to suggest that uh, please uh, let me request the Japanese person to stand up uh, if possible. Then and, uh, I think uh, everybody shakes their hands, claps their hands together. Then that's all I think. How do you think about that? Yeah. じゃあ、もう Someday when uh, with the whole auditorium is full of Japanese <laughs> and then you can come and perform in a very special way. <laughs> well, friends, it's time to say thank you. Please, a big hand, a big round of applause for our Japanese katana demonstrators as well. And I want to tell Usui-san that today in this audience, we have young and old, we have admirers, connoisseurs of music, but more importantly, so many youngsters, you know, I was watching them with intent interest. They are learning piano, you know. We have pianists in the making, you know, youngsters. And they will remember someday yeah. that, you know, maybe that, that time from 55, you'll have a century of yeah. awards. <laughs> <laughs> By the time they grow up. And uh, we wish you all the best. I would like to make a very special uh, mention here, thanks if Mr. Sauri Nupadhyay, the pianist from the Vibration School is here. He and his uh, team for assisting us in uh, getting us this piano, the grand piano. I would like to specially thank all the friends from the media and uh, the Ahmedabad Management Association facilities in particular and friends particularly all from our Japanese community friends with whom we look forward at the Najakrishna Haridas AME Indo-Japanese Center in the times to come. And as they say, we would like to conclude this function saying a big thank you in Japanese, Domo Arigato Gozaimashita. Oyasumi Nasai, good night, good night to all of you. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you very much. Say, say something in Gujarati. Gujarati. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry. but uh, uh, This is something you will cherish. Uh, yes, for you. For a long time to come. Something very special for you. Yeah. You who would like to see the sword are welcome. Those of you who may want to have interaction or pictures, particularly youngsters, feel free. Usui san is here with a grand piano. You can feel free to come up on the stage, please. Thank you.